Happy Sunday, guys. So I've decided to do my wine reviews on Sunday. So welcome to Gigi's Wine Reviews. So you know how they say a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, so is a bottle. So it gives you like this creepy, it's like, it has texture to it, y'all. Y'all see this? Like, it, like sticks is coming out of it. This is called Old Tavern. It's a dessert red wine. Um, so that probably means it's a red blend. Um, it's sweet, probably 16% alcohol content. This is what it looks like, if you guys can see that. I got it off of 51st and Halsted. It's a liquor store right there. Um, on the back of it, it states that it's a, there's a red wine made from the grapes of Cabernet Sauvignon and it's mixed with Merlot. So that's two bitters, but I'm trying to figure out how they gonna make this sweet. So it says grapes from the region of Maldivona. So we'll see guys. What you guys don't know, so like, if you get in the wine club, they give you free shit. So this box was my free shit, y'all. So in this box, I'm like so excited. Look at this, y'all. It's all nice. So for those that don't know, this opens, like takes the wrapper off the wine. This opens the bottle, this pours, this stops. I have no clue what this shit is. So if anybody knows, let me know. So let's use it today. So most people don't see this contraction when you're opening a bottle of wine, but it's relatively easy. So wait, let's cut the cut the ribbon off first with this here. Let's do that. Okay. So you see where the blades are? What you wanna do is you wanna place it's easier said than done place the blades like over top here and then kind of just go around ah it's hard to catch sometimes like I said place the blades it's my first time doing this show I ain't no pro but it is what it is ah mm -hmm. technical difficulties as usual lord maybe it wasn't meant to be I think about wine and cider. If it's a free gift, maybe it wasn't the top of the shelf wine. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay. Whew! All right. Just like that. It's probably better if I was an expert, you know? We're gonna work on that. Next time, I'm gonna get it perfect, y'all. Take that off. That way, no wrapper is in the bottle. All right. I think I got this down to the science. So, you put that here. Put that right here. You kind of just crank it up like that. You just kind of pull it down. The easiest thing you can probably do. And then you just lift it up a little bit. Tug, tug, tug. All right. And that's that. <laughs> it smells sweet. It smells like it. All right, so let's see the color of this. Of course, it's really nice. So usually I drink a, a bottle a day, but my trainer told me I'm, I'm, I'm down to a glass. So this is gonna be my glass for today. So as you circle around, it's a little light. Uh, you can see through it a little bit. Um, yeah, <laughs> definitely not dry. Uh, I'm trying to think. It tastes like it has a little bit of pomegranate notes a little bit. Um, I'm trying to, one second guys. Plum, yeah, plum and some other grapes. So yeah, this is very, very sweet. So they said dessert, they meant that because it's packed with some sugar. And y'all know, if y'all ever ate like grapes, they ain't the sweetest fruit on earth. They are legitimately bitter. That's why when you do red wines, it's typically sweeter than whites. Like you're never gonna find a, a white that is sweet because you can't really mix a white and make it still look white. <laughs> any any type of hint of color is red. So, but it's pretty good. Um, uh, it's just like one of those ruby red blends. That's the best way I can explain it. I can't compare it to, uh, I wouldn't even say a cab because a cab has a better after bitter taste to it. Even the Merlot, like once you drink it, you can taste that little bitterness, like a bitter after taste. But this, I would, um, it's kind of almost like going towards like prune juice, but not not that nasty, like if that makes sense. That's what I said, it's like more of a plum taste. So once again, 
Old Tavern on 51st and Halsted. Um, and I think you guys should give it a try. And thank you for attending Gigi's Wine Reviews.